positive following a noun. Buffalo Bill, that's the subject, right? Comma. Now, and a positive yes. can not only just be, not only just a or the, it could be a number too. Okay, so calculus, comma. A method, no, a mathematical, form, no, fuck it, I don't know. I'll show you, but normally you will see one. Okay. All right, and then followed up by the main verb after that. So here we go. Buffalo Bill, comma, a famous frontiersman, comma, operated. That's the main verb of the sentence, right? Yeah. Also, we can use an appositive before the subject. That means the appositive will be in what? The dependent clause. So a famous frontiersman, comma, Buffalo Bill operated, subject verb. These are very common pain. At least two of your questions will be missing a positives. All right. All right. Here. Ah. Okay. And a positive can also be in an adjective clause. So let me give you an example. Subject of the sentence, oak, comma, which is one. That's right. Two verbs, which is, and the positive is what? One of the most durable hardwoods. Like I told you, an appositive doesn't just necessarily mean using an article, uh. It could be with one also. Okay, mm -hmm. one of the most durable hardwoods, comma, is often used to make blah, 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 blah. That is an appositive combined with an adjective clause or a non-defining relative clause. Okay? So that's the same thing. So here we go. We can use just an appositive. Not with an adjective clause. Keep that in mind. Oak, comma, one of the most durable hardwoods, comma, is often used. Aha, so what did I do? I took out the which is, okay? I took it out. I said, get the hell out of here. And then, boom, I just used the appositive, one of the most durable hardwoods. Let me give you another example. Arsenio, comma, one of the sexiest men in the world. Ah, comma is even sexier today. That is in a positive. Catch I might be. So that's how we're going to do it from here on out. Okay. Now let's do some practicing. Are you ready? 